So it turns out that as long as the, the worlds you're talking about are very, very, very similar, you can get a little bit of information to lead through, and here's how you do it. So, for this experiment, you shine a laser, one photon at a time, of course, onto a beam splitter. A beam splitter is a fancy word for glass. <laughs> half the time it goes up here, half the time it goes down here. These are normal mirrors, bounce the beam back together, and you have, there we go, completely destructive interference going down this way, and completely constructive interference going up this way. So if you shoot this laser beam down here, it will all come up and hit here. Even if you do it one photon at a time, it ends up taking both paths at the same time. Here's where it's weird. I block the upper path with something. I don't care what it is. Uh, half the time, the photon is going to come down here, end up here and stop. The other half of the time, it's going to take the lower path, and again, since there's no interference, there's nothing coming from this direction to interfere with it, it makes another 50-50 decision. If you detect it down here, that means it must have taken the lower path. If it took the other path, it would have stopped. Uh, there's something in the upper path, which means there's nothing to interfere with, which means it has the chance to go down here. And finally, if you detect it down here, the photon didn't interact with this thing. I know, right? <laughs> and this has been done many times because nobody believes it. They're like, no, fuck you, I'm going to build this thing and try it. <laughs> so, one way to look at it, to really bend your brain, uh, there's, a, there's another world where the photon hits and we gain that information in our world because the photon is detected down here. Isn't that weird? But it works. And I'm probably going to just run through this extremely fast. Every once in a while you hear people talking about how quantum mechanics allows us to teleport and communicate infinitely fast across the universe. Again? No. <laughs> so, unfortunately, communicating faster, communicating faster than the speed of light is a problem. Uh, so, here's the basic idea. If I take... Uh, if I've got a bucket of red and blue marbles, and I take it out two marbles that are the same color, and I put them in a bag or something like that, and I send the bags to the opposite sides of the universe, you'd say, well, I have no idea what, what color the marble is in my bag. And then you open it, and suddenly you just know what the other marble's color is, because they're the same color. That's correlation. It is not information being transferred. I make this point because it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. And this is the experiment that talks about it. Yeah, we don't have time. <clears throat> okay, so the Copenhagenists, uh, maybe they burn in hell. The Copenhagenists would explain this as somehow uh, you fire off, you fire these photons off in different directions and you measure them, and the measurements are always correlated. The Copenhagenists would say that you observe it on this side, and it's you observe it over here, and that somehow makes this measurement correlate. However, if the information is traveling faster than the speed of light, it turns out that you can switch the order of these things. You can't really say which happened first. Which means, maybe this one affected what you saw. So, suddenly, cause and effect kind of gets screwed up. Again, the bar is there. <laughs> in the many worlds hypothesis, which is vastly superior in every possible way, there's a world where it's vertically polarized, and the cat's alive. And there's no weird questions, and there's no weird transfer, and then there's another universe where it's horizontally polarized, and there's no problem there either. So basically, many worlds, yay, Copenhagen, boo. All right, so <laughs> here's the idea. You've got wave particles, things are waves and particles. You've got this weird entanglement that makes things correlate over infinite distances. You can, you can measure things without ever interacting with them at all. And yet, all of that is cold, hard, cocky science. And in no way involves psychics or superpowers. So, just as a quick enough mnemonic, remember, uh, Patrick Stewart, physics, good. Patrick Stewart, psychic, no. Nope. <laughs> uh, I had to truncate this and rush through it. So, if you want to see an extended thing, and other crap about seeing the dark and what have you, I put it on this blog right here. Uh, it's a worthless So that is quantum mechanics and not science.